Hey everybody, Shane Klaus here with Shane Talks Politics. If there's one thing that drives me nuts, that gets under my skin more than anything else, it has to be activist school teachers attempting to hijack the minds of our most vulnerable, our youngest population. And we expect this, it's happening all over the nation. Uh, I think the, the parents here in Idaho, we, we've kind of become a little apathetic. We think it only happens there and it doesn't happen to us right here at home. But folks, we have an activist school teacher right here at South Hills Middle School teaching seventh grade language arts. A seventh grade language arts teacher, it was just brought to my attention, I'm going to flip over to this next screen so you can take a look at this, is, has posters in the classroom such as this one. This was taken by a student in that classroom and such as this. Now these posters, I want to tell you where they're coming from. They are coming from a group, it's an activist group that's putting out this kind of information. This is their website right here. It says, we, we the future. First of thing, when you, first thing you see, will you help get the world vaccinated? Pops up right on the top of their screen. You can see the posters, some of the posters that come from this company. And it says, we the future. Join Amplifier and 20,000 educators across the country to tell a new story about the future of America. The We the Future campaign showcased 10 young leaders representing 10 diverse movements, each already building us a better world. They are drafting and passing legislation. They are working on climate justice, criminal justice reform, voting rights, immigration rights, disability justice, gun reform, queer rights, and literacy. The work is, they say, nonpartisan, and it carries the energy of countless communities from every background. In a time of uncertainty, these icons show us a path forward. They show us that the future is already here. Folks, is this the future you want? This is not what should be in a classroom in Twin Falls, Idaho, and it shouldn't be in any classroom anywhere across the nation, but it gets worse. This is what was first brought to my attention was that this teacher is also reading aloud from a book called I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. Now this book, uh, according to this parent and according to this student, I want to read directly what they said. They said, I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter includes violence, drugs, suicide, abortion, race, racism, sexual content, symptoms of being human, this book is about a gender fluid and also includes suicide, sexual assault, and murder. This is what's being read, read aloud in a language arts class right here at South Hills Middle School in Twin Falls, Idaho. We think that in Idaho we're safe. We think in Idaho because we always vote with a little check mark that has an R next to it that everything's going to be okay in our little community here. But this is evidence right here that it's not happening. If And the... the uh, the principals of these schools, they always say the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that was happening. These posters are up in the classroom. Where is our school board? Where is our superintendent? Where are the principals, the vice principals? Who is overseeing these teachers? Folks, we've got to get control of our schools. We have to do something about this. First thing I want is everybody that's listening to this to call the superintendent's office tomorrow. I want them absolutely hounded with telephone calls. This is what needs to happen to put an end to this. We need, we need to let them know that this is not going to stand in this community. I have no problem. This is a, this is a, public, uh, a public school teacher. The classroom is uh, language arts, seventh grade, Jasmine Robertson. We should also let the school teacher know exactly how we feel about this being taught in our classrooms, about these posters being hung in the classroom. It is not to our teachers to get involved in politics and to poison the minds of our children with their ideology. They should be teaching the basics, math, English, social studies, not politics, not critical race theory, not anti-gun garbage. None of that belongs in our classrooms here in Twin Falls, Idaho, and we need to put an end to it right now. Folks, tomorrow at seven o'clock, we have a Zoom meeting. We have a, a group called Take Back Our Schools. This is exactly what we are trying to attack and trying to put an end to in our classrooms and to make sure we don't have it. But it's not going to happen if only a couple of different people get involved. We need all of our parents, 
all of our citizens in Twin Falls, Idaho, to be involved in our schools. These kids, whether you have kids in those classrooms or not, whether you have kids that are still in school or not, these are the future. These are the kids who will be tomorrow's, today's children, that are in these classrooms learning this garbage, are tomorrow's voters. They are tomorrow's school teachers. They are tomorrow's politicians. They are the future, and we are going to have to abide by the world they create. And these educators understand this, but it's time that our citizens understand this themselves. We've got to get control of our schools. So I want you to send me a private message right now with your email address so I can kick out a Zoom meeting invite at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We're having another meeting with Take Back Our Schools. It is important that you join this Zoom meeting. We've moved to a Zoom meeting format because we are trying to take back our schools all across the Magic Valley, and then we will move out from there. That encompasses school districts in Gooding, in, in, uh, in Lincoln County, over there in Shoshone, over in Jerome, down over in Filer, Buell, Twin Falls, uh, Hagerman. All the schools around the, around the Magic Valley, we want all of these parents to be involved because this is our community and we need to start here. And then we're going to take this out across the rest of the state of Idaho. We need to shore up our state against this kind of garbage. I also have very good authority that there are a lot. This A is for Activist book is being pushed in Idaho. And many other books that, that have to do with critical race theory and all of this kind of garbage that we don't want. Again, we can't just hold back and hope that the guy with an R next to his name is going to get involved and do something about this. It comes down to us, the parents. So, folks, I am begging you, pick up your phone tomorrow, send emails, let's let the school district know we're not happy about this, give them the support of the parents that this teacher needs to be removed from the classroom. I, I mean it. If you are teaching this kind of stuff as one of your employers... Okay, is one of the taxpayers in the city of Twin Falls. I don't want to slap on the wrist. This is exactly what they're not supposed to be doing. It is law in Idaho that they not be t telling the kids. Now, I don't know how far they're going. That it's a, Our governor made sure this was a fine line, just another little piece of legislation that says, hey, we're not going to force our kids to accept these types of policies. Doesn't mean they can't present them, but we're not going to force kids to accept that they might have too much whiteness or anything else like that. But this law doesn't go far enough. Our legislators are really reconvening. They're getting back together on the 15th in Boise. There's a lot of things that are on their table, but we have got to get better laws on our table to stop this. But the teacher knows. This teacher knows that as a community and as a state, we don't want this garbage. She's using her position for activism, and she should be gone. We need to contact our schools and let them know exactly how we feel about this, and then we need you to get involved. So again, tomorrow at 7 o'clock, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. All of you are invited. Everyone's invited. Share this. Get this out there. We need our whole community. Please, right now, hit that share button. Get this information out there. Hit the like button. It forces Facebook's algorithm, YouTube's al algorithm, the social media algorithm. Every time you hit that like button on this video and, and hit subscribe, it lets them know and, and share it lets that algorithm know that you are interested in this and it will push it to more and more people, people in your circle, people around our community. Please share, like, get involved, send me that private message with your email address. We'll get you plugged in. We're not going to hit you with spam. We're not going to hit you with all these uh, daily uh, notifications. Only when there's something important that you need to know about and we need your help will we send an email out to you and we'll send you reminders about our Tuesday night. Take back our schools, folks. Let's get involved and take them back and do it now.